In a previous video, I showed you an algorithm to approximate decimals. It turns out that we can apply the same algorithm to approximate binary log. In this video, I'll show you how to approximate the binary log. Log base 2 of x equals y. We're trying to approximate y. Now this algorithm is restricted for x between 1 and less than 2. In this case, the output will be between 0 and less than 1. On the graph in pink, you can see that the range x ranges from 1 to 2. And if you look at the graph for binary log in green, the line in green, you can see that the green ranges from 0 to 1 for the range of x 1 to 2. Just a quick reminder what it means for log base 2 of x to equal y. This means that we're trying to find a y such that x is equal to 2 to the y. Let's start with a review of the algorithm that approximates decimal in binary representation. Later we'll apply this algorithm to approximate binary log. To begin with, we'll start with a decimal number that we want to approximate. This number has to be greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1. And we'll approximate this number y with a binary representation z. z is equal to 1 over 2 times z to the minus 1 plus 1 over 2 to the 2 times z to the minus 2 and so on up to n. Each of z of i, so z minus 1, z minus 2, z minus 3, all the way up to z minus n, are either zeros or 1s. And we're approximating the number y with powers of 1 over 2. We've observed that if 2 to the y is greater than or equal to 1, then we know that z to the minus 1 is equal to 1. Otherwise, if 2 to the y is less than 1, then z to the minus 1 is equal to 0. Furthermore, when 2 to the y is greater than or equal to 1, we also know that 2 to the y minus 1 will be between 0 and 1. And likewise, if 2 to the y is less than 1, then we know that 2 to the y is again less than between 0 and 1. We observe that in both cases, this number will again be between 0 and 1, so we can apply the same algorithm, multiply these number by 2 to find out what z to the minus 2 is. Repeat this n time, and you can find a binary representation of the decimal number y. So this was a review of how to approximate a decimal in binary representation. We'll be applying this algorithm to approximate the binary log. But before we write down the algorithm, let's first make some key observations. The obvious ones are that the input x will be between 1 and 2, and in this case the output y will be between 0 and 1. Log base 2 of x equals y. This is the same as saying x is equal to 2 to the y. Taking this equation, if we take the square of x, so x to the 2, then this will be the same as 2 to the 2 times y. Now remember when we approximated decimals, we multiplied the number y by 2, and we were able to infer what z to the minus 1 is. So we can apply a similar algorithm to this number. Let me further explain. If x squared is greater than or equal to 2, so this expression, x squared, is greater than or equal to 2, then this is equal to 2 to the 2 to the y. This expression on the right can only be greater than or equal to 2 if 2 to the y is greater than or equal to 1. Now from this fact that 2 to the y is greater than or equal to 1, we can apply the algorithm that we use to approximate decimals and say that z to the minus 1 is equal to 1. The binary approximation of y, the first bit z to the minus 1 will be equal to 1. If x squared is not greater than or equal to 2, then we know that x squared is less than 2. Well again, take a look at this equation. If x squared is less than 2, since x squared is equal to 2 to the 2 times y, and this part must be less than 2. This means that 2 to the y must be less than 1. And in this case, again applying the algorithm to approximate the decimals, we can infer that z to the minus 1 will be equal to 0. Now if I scroll up, Recall that in the next step, to find z to the minus 2, we had to either look at 2 to the y minus 1 or 2 to the y. So in this algorithm, how will we look at 2 to the y minus 1 and 2 to the y? We know what 2 to the 2 to the y is equal to. So what is 2 to the 2 to the y minus 1 equal to? This is equal to 2 to the y times 2 to the minus 1. And this will be equal to 2 to the 2 to the y divided by 2. Okay, so we now know that 2 to the 2 to the y minus 1 is equal to 2 to the 2 to the y divided by 2. Going back to this equation, if we divide this part of the equation by 2, then this is the same as dividing x squared by 2. So here we have x squared divided by 2 is equal to 2 to the 2 to the y minus 1. This number will be greater than or equal to 1 
and less than 2. Let's take a look at why this is. When we first start out, we know that x is less than 2, so x squared will be less than 4. So this means that x squared divided by 2 will be less than 4 divided by 2, so it will be less than 2. On the other hand, here we know that x squared is greater than or equal to 2, so divide both sides by 2, and we have x squared divided by 2 will be less than or equal to 1. Okay, how about when x squared is less than 2? What can we say about the range of x squared? Well, from this inequality, we know that x squared is less than 2. And from the first inequality, since x is greater than or equal to 1, x squared will again be greater than or equal to 1. So, x squared is greater than or equal to 1. Now, notice that the condition we started out with is that x is between 1, greater than or equal to 1, and less than 2. If you look at the inequalities here, in the first case, x squared divided by 2 is again greater than or equal to 1 and less than 2. In the second case, x squared is again greater than or equal to 1 and less than 2. Do you see a pattern here similar to the pattern here? When we use the algorithm to approximate the decimal, we observe that 2 to the y minus 1 and 2 to the y is again in the same range as the decimal that we were originally approximating. So we repeated the same algorithm to find d to the minus 2. We can do something similar over here. Since both x squared divided by 2 and x squared will be in the range of the same as the input between 1 and 2, we can repeat the same algorithm to find what d to the minus 2 is. So we square again to find d to the minus 2. In the first case, we will square x squared divided by 2. And in the second case, we will square x squared to find d to the minus 2. And we're now ready to write this down as an algorithm. First, we started out with the input x greater than or equal to 1 and less than 2. We want to approximate the binary log of x with m bits, so we'll run the loop n times. The first step was to square x. To x, we assign x times x. And then we consider the case. If x is greater than or equal to 2, then we can infer that d to the minus i is equal to 1. And then for the next iteration, we divided this x by 2. Else, we know that x is still less than 2. And in this case, d to the minus i will be equal to 0. Repeat this n times and we'll have an approximation of the binary log of x. To summarize, to approximate the binary log of x, we would apply the algorithm that approximates the decimal in binary representation. And what we do is we take the input, square it, and if x squared is greater than or equal to 2, then we know that d to the minus 1 is equal to 1. Otherwise, we know that d to the minus 1 is equal to 0. And for the next iteration, we either divide by 2 or leave x squared as is and repeat the same algorithm. Repeat it n times and you'll have an n-bit approximation to log 2 of x.